Hey guys, what's up? Floaty Lady Channel here. Today I'm gonna check out this artificial hand from the Yulong Tattoo Supply Company. This is a silicone hand that you can practice tattooing on. I thought it'd be a cool thing to check out with you guys. So uh, without further ado, let's open this baby up. Come on, old guy. Ugh. All right, so this looks like a man's hand. It's very realistic. You can see it's most likely created from a plaster cast filled with silicone. And you can even see the, the grain of the finger. You could probably fingerprint this thing and figure out who it is. I won't go there, but very realistic. It's literally someone's hand. It's a dude's hand, that's cool. The design I have uh, prepared for this is a little bit more for a woman, but hey, you know, who cares? It'll be fun to practice. So what I'm gonna do is because this hand is probably a little bit difficult to get a stencil on from the Eco Stencil printer, I'm just gonna try drawing the design I have prepared onto the hand. So let's do that right now and then we will try tattooing this sucker. Alright guys, so this hand has been drying overnight. The Sharpie is still probably a little smudgeable, so I'm just going to be careful working from bottom to top on this design. I have my Helotite three round liner here, which is a 10 gauge uh, from Black Cloth. I have my 11 round shader here from Cheyenne 12 gauge and 12 gauge nine round liner. I think I could probably get it done with all three of these. I also have this uh, 12 gauge 11 round liner if I think the line needs to thicken up. I'm still kind of experimenting with this sort of tattoo. I've been doing a lot of black and gray realism, so this will definitely be a good challenge for me, and especially on hand, which is a difficult subject. So for this project, I'm gonna use my Numa with my Musotoku, and I have the brass grip, which uh, just feels a little more stable for lining. It's definitely more challenging doing these finer details. Don't know how the silicone feels yet, so I'm not sure which stroke length would be better. So I'm starting at the 3.6 with the 20% cam, which is the cam for lining. It's going to use a very shallow needle depth since we are tattooing a hand, which has really thin skin. Silicone is nice. So far, I just noticed the penetration seems good. I'll know more when I wipe it away, but got a very similar feel to skin. It's not as stiff as some of the other ones from Amazon that I've had, and it doesn't feel like it's spreading the way it does on a little bit on the uh, real skin, R-E-E-L skin. This actually is pretty cool silicone. There's something different about it. We'll see how it goes, but yeah, it kind of feels a little bit more like human skin than the other ones. So that's great.
right, so that wraps up the hand project. If you have a hand tattoo coming up, I highly recommend this silicone hand. Uh, it's very realistic. The wrinkles were definitely a challenge to work around, which I think would help you prepare for the real thing. Of course, it's silicone, so it takes a lot more effort to get the silicone black, to get the stippling shade to stay and things like that. As you can see, it did work out really well and uh, the ink went into the silicone very well. The lining was pretty easy with the three round liner. I felt like I had pretty good control. My thoughts are skin is easier, so this will be a good challenge again. Um, if you wanna find this hand, please check out the link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Rock on guys. Thank you, bye.